This is a very serious message. This is super serious and I'm not like playing. I'm I'm actually, I feel like I'm losing my mind a little bit, just a little bit. So, okay, you guys know I am, I've come on here before and talked about how I have been under getting into like I never did this in the past but I'm here in prophecies and I do believe that a lot of it is true so there is a woman on TikTok and she goes by the master's voice and yes I know that sounds crazy I get it if if I haven't been through this journey and and getting deeper understanding I would think it was crazy too but forget about the name Let's talk about what this woman is talking about. She's got over hundreds of videos uh, saying that God has given her revelation and that she has prophecy, right? And some of this, and and sometimes you kind of hear those things and you're like, you know, oh, well, you know, I don't know about that. Or, you know, let me, you know, let me listen with, you know, with my full ear and Let's get some discernment. Let me pray about this. And, and then sometimes you're like, you hear some stuff and you're just like, all right, whatever. You know, I'll wait for God to personally give me that revelation. But this and what the things that she is saying are so heavy and so like, are you serious? Like, what is going Like, the things that she's saying, I just don't think that someone can make up. Right. I just don't think you can make these things up. And personally, I don't know how much longer she's going to be on the Internet because these these things are so heavy and like serious. And, and the things that I believe that God is exposing through her. Um, So this is my plea to you, whoever comes across this video is to I'm going to put the link in my bio and I strongly suggest that you take some time out of your day to watch. But this? The thing she, she's talking about, it's like, you, you can't make this stuff up. You know what I mean? You can't make it up, right? And, like, one of the things that, like, complete, like, I am, like, traumatized. I just want everybody to know if anyone cares, if anyone cares to check on me. <laughs> I am, am traumatized. Like, I don't even, I don't even know how to function anymore. And, okay, let me try to get this out. She's talking about, I'm going to put it somewhere on here because at this point, we're being recorded. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that they are watching. <laughs> and so I'm just going to put their names somewhere over here. Okay, so she is saying, she, she at one point she said, um, you're going to have to learn this, this language right here so that you can plead for your life. <sighs> like... I know because I said it's in your mind now, but before it was in your mind, you just don't think about things like that. Unless, like, you just don't think about things like that. My point is, guys, my point is what I'm trying to articulate is we are, we are in some serious trouble. We are like, when I tell you the tribulation that is coming... And when I tell you, like, like the things that this woman, that I believe that God has allowed this woman to see, and she's not the only one. There are more people talking about it. But why are we not, like, why does no one care? It's, it's, I finally know what, what know how Noah felt. Not to say that I'm Noah or anything, but I finally, like, I get how Noah was preaching to these people. And he was telling them to repent. And he was telling them that it was going to rain. And he was building this big, ridiculous ark when nobody had seen rain before. It's like building a spaceship and saying that the aliens are coming today. That, that would probably be somewhat of the equivalent today. 
But what we do have are people begging and pleading. And there's people, I mean, there's people all over the internet talking about how we got to get right. We got to prepare. Uh, Jesus is coming. Um, I've had this dream. I've had this revelation. Uh, we have natural disasters. We have earthquakes and we're having all these we're in things like in the sky. People are recording these things. People are finally admitting that there are aliens, which, by the way, they're demons. But that's a whole nother story. Uh, message me later, you know. But my thing is, how is it that we are still like functioning in everyday life? Don't see how life. people are living their everyday lives and like ignoring the things that are going on around us. Like, I'm going to have to leave the country now. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's how serious it's getting for me. Like, go look at her stuff. Just look at, the, like, the first five videos. And if you, if you think that she is full of it, then, then God bless you. That's fine. But it's always crazy until it's not crazy. But this woman is talking about like how we're going to be invaded who is going to be and be invading us uh she's saying that united states is babylon which um i kind of always thought that but you know of course you know there's been some speculation and babylon i'm talking about babylon and revelations that babylon will fall and like it like i don't even i'm 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 I I don't even know how to articulate it. It's like it's like getting information that you're going to like and and like what do you do with that information? Like how do you how do you plan like nothing seems important anymore. Like nothing is important anymore like if we only have a certain amount of time to be here it's like, what do you do with the with this information? Like, do you go you go to work every day? Like, and I'm not telling anyone to quit their jobs, but I I I, I think you should check out her stuff, and I think you should pray and ask God to, like, say like God, can you give me some instructions? Like, what should I do with this information? Cause I'm over here like. Like my insurance company is calling me and asking me to like renew my insurance. And that's like the last thing on my mind. You know, I, I, yesterday I didn't do, I just, when I, when I, I've been listening to these videos and I could do nothing like, cause nothing like, oh my gosh. Like I can't even like articulate this thing. Like, like the stuff that I've brought, do you know what I mean? Like I was I, thinking about I'm, you know, I've been planning to move and I was like, oh, I got to get this furniture and that. For what? Get, f f like, f what for what? Like, if, when you, <laughs> I mean, this stuff is so wild. I, I really, like, I, there's a lot I want to say, but I'm convinced we are being watched and they are listening. I am convinced. And, I never thought I would be that conspiracy theorist person and I people may can stroll, scroll past this message and you know you can chalk me up to being crazy but there is some truth out here. I mean if the scientists are saying it, even the spiritualism like everybody is pointing to one thing. We don't have much time left. Every everybody is pointing to one thing and that and is that we don't have much time left. And it's like, nobody cares. It's like, nobody seems to care. Nobody, and, and maybe it's because it's just, humanly speaking, maybe it's just too much for us to process. Like, maybe it's easier to just be like, all right, whatever. And just, you know, hey, I, I, I gotta make this $5 an hour or whatever, I don't know. But like, nobody seems to care that this ship is sinking and I don't know what's crazier. I don't know what's crazier, me coming on the internet and trying to warn people that this ship is sinking or people ignoring that the ship is sinking. 
but the ship is sinking. <laughs> it's, 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 it's sinking. The ship is sinking. The iceberg is ahead. We've never experienced war before. So we don't know what we, a lot of us, a lot of us have never experienced war before. And so when we talk about prisoners of war, we don't even know what that means. You know, we're thinking, I don't know, maybe we think we can kind of sit in our house and eat our stored up goods that we've, we've stored up, you know, and, and, you know, we just watch people watch bombs in the middle of the street. Uh, no, they're coming in to get us, right? They're separating us from our family. If you, if you have a family, they're, they're separating you. They're putting you in change, no clothes on, Right. And they're putting you in a ship as going back to slavery time. They are shipping you to their country and they are going to ravage the Yellowstone National Park will be non-existent because they're going to uproot it and take any precious stones, anything that was in there. Like the United States as we know it will no longer exist. People are going to die. People are going to die. And like nobody and everybody's just making TikToks, like me, you know? Everybody's just like, I don't know. There's no sense of urgency. There's there's no one like in the middle of the streets like screaming at the top of their lungs. Or are they? Or is this, this, or this, is this happening right now? And like no one is, no one seems to care. And I think, I think that's what, I think that's the craziest part for me is that nobody seems to care that major is about to happen like all like god cannot give us any more signs like than he already has like if you're not gonna listen i don't know i'm like losing it over here i'm really i'm really seriously trying to process this stuff like (sighs) i just cannot like how are we still functioning like we're still going to work and we're still like storing up for our kids college like we're not going to need it and i'm you know i'm not, i'm not saying like go crazy or like you know like but what would you do what would you do how would you live how would you act what kind of where would you travel what would you do if you only had two more years to live like how how would you would you change anything? Would you seek if there was a god? Like what if you what if you only had two more years to live? Like what would you do differently? And and I think those are the questions that we really need to be asking ourselves, seriously asking ourselves. Something major is happening and it's coming and it's like nobody, nobody is flinching. Like nobody, I don't know. It's like, it's I like. I don't know, man. <sighs> like I'm literally going to have to leave this country. If I, if I, if I. Just to stand a chance to try to make it to the next tribulation because I don't want to be a slave. You know, I've heard about those. (laughs) I've heard about it. I'm not interested. And, uh, it's coming and God is, is warning us, whoever, whoever wants to listen, I believe God is warning us. And I just don't know what else to do to try to get people's attention. Like, it's like no one, no one cares, you know? I posted yesterday that we have less than two two years of peace, right? That's what I posted on my social media yesterday. And people looked at it, but they didn't say anything. No one's, no one's like, wouldn't you, if, if like, wouldn't you, like, no one's saying like, oh, she's, you're crazy girl, like, bye. Or like, what are you talking about? Like, no, there's no reaction either way. 
which is so strange to me. Like, like I know they saw it. Like, and I, you know, I know they had a thought, you know, but no one has the no one commented. No one was like, whether good or bad, and I'm not trying to get a reaction. I'm just trying to get people's attention. But uh, all I can say is you should really watch this woman's videos. I'm going to put her stuff below. And you should seriously consider uh, making a plan for yourself and your family. If you love your family and... and you don't want to see your family put into modern day slavery or killed think about your families like for their sake don't you think you should look into this stuff like this world is 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 disintegrating dying there is something happening and like no one it doesn't seem like anybody is doing anything about it. At least from where I'm sitting. Maybe maybe there's like a little bit of people in, in every state of this country doing something. But like, I don't know. Well, all I can do is say, say what I'm saying. Do what I'm doing right now. And it's up to you to, you're hearing this information. You do what you want with it. I'll try to tell as many people who will listen. You know, we, we, we make a lot of time for things. We make time for the things that we want to make time for, right? And this information is so important to hear. I don't even, like, I'm, I'm still processing it. I'm still, like, I'm still, like, a little in shock. <laughs> and so... I honestly, I don't like, I am like sitting, I'm kind of speechless a little and I don't even know what it is that I'm trying to articulate to you. Cause I'm still like, my mind is completely blown, but <sighs> oh, hold on. Like basically in a nutshell, uh, we probably got less than two years to prepare for war. Um, and United States has never had to experience what she is about to go through. Uh, people are not mentally and, and they're not mentally pre prepared for the takedown of the United States of America. Like people are so stubborn and they like the idea of something that something like this could have is incomprehensible. And I don't think I use that word right because I don't even know. I don't think I've ever said that word, but besides the point, look it up. I don't know. I probably didn't say it right, but like, inconceivable that's what i'm looking for it's so inconceivable like i i just i don't I, i'm so speechless right now like me speechless i'm trying to articulate what i'm what i'm experiencing and what i'm feeling and i'm trying to like i feel I, like the person that's in the middle of Times square holding up the sign that says jesus is coming back and everybody's just walking right past him and that's how I feel right now. And, and so, so this, this is me holding up my sign saying something is coming. Something real is coming. And I hope that you don't just walk past the sign. I hope that I hope that you do something about it. I hope that you understand that our lives, not only are our lives at risk, but our soul the the being that's inside of us is at risk for eternity like what like 
Like how, I don't know how, I don't know how else to get your attention. I don't, and I don't think it's possible. And now, unfortunately, I understand what it means when it says only few people will make it into heaven. Because it's like nobody wants to, they don't want to, they don't want to have this conversation. I can't deal with that right now. I don't want to, I don't want to clean up my act. I don't want to stop sinning. I don't want to stop doing these things that I love that give me pleasure because I got plenty of time to get it right. The churches that are out here today, they're, they don't want to talk about hell and they don't want to talk about the tribulation that is coming and, you know, it's, it, it, you know, so why would anyone be afraid? Why would anyone want to prepare or why would, so I don't know how else to say it, but just to say it, we don't have much time left at all. And, um, Um, I really hope that you watch those videos. The United States will be invaded. And we will, if you are still here and if you have not made a plan or if you have not checked in with God to see where he wants you to go, how, what he wants you to do, um, you will be caught in the 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 mix. You, you will be caught in the crossfire quite literally. And I know there are people who are saying, oh, well, you know, we, we got our guns. We got the best army. No one's going to do anything. Yeah. Well, guess what? God is allowing it. God is judging the United States for her crimes, for her crimes of all this sexual perversion, the sex trafficking, for... um the fact that we have so much and we, we don't do enough to help the people who are in need in these other countries that we've turned our back on, that we've used, we've we've gone in and we've taken their supply just to, to say that we're number one. We've, uh, we still haven't, you know, we haven't accounted for slavery. The fact that we ripped families apart and, and um, separated families and, and use free labor, you know, we, we, we have the United States have sins and and God never forgot. God said he he never forgot. Dead and gone, he but never, God never forgot. God somebody's going to be held accountable for this stuff. And we don't want to deal with it. We say, "Oh, that's not my problem." Okay. 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 <laughs> um yeah, something's coming. It's not going to be pretty the things that she talks about and um, if there's kids in the room, I'm about to say some graphic stuff. So, uh, the things that she's talking about that I just can't believe that she, you can't make this stuff up. We're going to be invaded. Uh, they're going to come into our house. The constitution is going to go out the window. They're going to raid our house, take everything that we have, and they're going to separate our families. And, um, we're going to become modern day slaves and the things that the visions that she saw were oh, was um, that uh, they're going to strip us of our clothes. They're going to separate the men from the women, the children, the old from the young. And they're going to um, tie us up with zip ties and like um, put us uh, together. She said she said that God revealed to her that we were going to be like nude and um just the shame that that brings in itself. And that's a mental thing to kind of, when you capture people, like, like you, you, you don't feel like you can, like, you're not going to try to run off naked. You know what I mean? It's, it's a mental thing. And, and that these people have been preparing that their technology is way far more advanced than us, that they are already, these people are already implanted in our country right now. They're already here. They're just like sleeper cells. And, we very device that we're using they hear they they can they can hear us they can see us i mean this stuff all the can all the things with facebook and the the privacy like they're watching us they have profiles on us 
And maybe this sounds crazy to you, but like, my God, just look into it. Like, wouldn't you rather, I'd rather look crazy right now and to prepare and to possibly leave the United States. I'm, that's happening. Like, I'm still putting my, like, like that's happening. And I don't want to leave this country, but like, that's happening. And, and I'd rather look crazy, move to a different country and look crazy than to be here when they come and take over this country because look at look at the United States army today look look what happened look what happened when they went to uh when those people uh stormed the white house how easy it, it was for them to get in i mean if that was if that didn't show you that we have some weak spots look at the you ever check i think they have like sometimes the people uh who are in the army they take they do a lot of tiktoking which is i mean if they're tiktoking who's protecting us but but they um they're like kids you ever look go look at go look on tiktok and find like look up u.s army and they'll be doing like tiktoks and stuff. these are children they're not going to be able to protect us please watch her videos pray and may God bless America. And I know like a lot of people want to say, oh yeah, well, um, you know, well, this is a warning. We just have to pray. This is judgment. This is God's judgment. Everything can't be reversed. God is not always of love. He, he, God is not always of love. God gets angry too. God has emotions. We can't get out of everything. And and one of the th- reasons why is we, we there there is a possibility that, that we could like repent as a nation, but do you honestly see that happening? Do you honestly see this whole and like the most probably we probably wouldn't need a huge number of it. Probably we need a good 20% of this population to repent and turn back to God and God may reconsider. People are on their way to hell and we just we're not saying anything. Like, we're not, we're not like, oh my gosh, like, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get right with this man called Jesus. Like, we're not saying, God, please, please send me to the people that will hear this message so that we can save, so that we can save them for you or whatever. I just don't see enough of it. I love TikTok. I see I see a lot of people in different states and around the country and around the world doing it but when it comes to like the cluster like the people that sometimes it seems like there's only like a few in in the bunch but I think more people should be outraged I am not mentally I'm just like I don't want to leave this country like the the world that as as we know it is about to change and then even if so let's just say I do leave this country and I do escape what's coming to the United States we still got to go through uh the plagues and stuff so and if you make it through that then Jesus comes so I guess that's the goal I guess you got to you got to try to play the game until Jesus gets back. And then you're going to be for here for a thousand years. So, I guess that's the I guess that's what you do. You got to try to survive the the turmoil. But before you can survive it, you got to know about it. And if you continue to close your ears and close your eyes and close your mouth, I guess it's going to be a, a very rude awakening and it's going to be really sad. It's going to be really sad. And um I think we'll look back and wish we would have done more, you know? Wish we would have said more. Wish we could have saved more people, you know, or at least tried, you know. 
All right, I'm rambling. May God have mercy on our souls. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I just, I pray that you just have mercy on us. I pray that you reveal things to us in dreams and in visions. And um, I pray that you protect us from Satan. And you give us our daily bread and and you just help us through this these times that are coming that no one no one seems to be doing anything about but God just have mercy on us have mercy on me and and Jesus in Jesus name amen